Well, we're just days away from a major battle in the Senate over President Trump's pick to fill the vacancy on the Supreme Court. I don't wish to get involved in politics. He may not want to, but Supreme Court nominee Judge Neil Gorsuch is smack dab in the middle of a partisan Senate showdown. Justice Gorsuch is going to be on the Supreme Court one way or another. With Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell vowing to get it done by the end of next week, it remains to be seen exactly how. A growing number of Senate Democrats say they will not support Gorsuch's elevation to the nation's highest court, though the Senate unanimously approved his confirmation to the federal bench back in 2006. The GOP needs to garner 60 votes with the help of eight Democrats or independents to get Gorsuch over a key procedural hurdle. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer insists it is a necessity, but that's not what he was saying back in 2013. We'd much prefer the risk of up or down votes in majority rule than the risk of continued total obstruction. That's the bottom line, no matter who's in power. That's the year Democrats invoked the so-called nuclear option, lowering the vote threshold for lower court federal nominees to just 51, in order to seat a number of President Obama's nominees on a key federal court. And this is today. The logic, the irresistible, immutable logic is if the nominee doesn't get 60, you change the nominee, not the rules. Just days before last fall's presidential election, then vice presidential nominee, Senator Tim Kaine suggested Democrats would be willing to invoke the nuclear option if Hillary Clinton won and Republicans attempted to block her Supreme Court nominees. He has announced he will oppose Gorsuch. As the game of chicken continues, it appears senators on both sides of the aisle are concerned about seeing an historic change to Senate precedent, including Democrat Joe Manchin, who opposed his party's 2013 use of the nuclear option. The two wrongs don't make a right, and my Republican friends and colleagues would take that off the table. Maybe it would move the process and bring us together. It'd break my heart, but I would do what I'd have to to make sure that President Trump gets treated fairly. At last count, 31 Senate Democrats have indicated they will oppose Gorsuch, some, but not all, specifically saying they would support a filibuster.